Someone help us! Any timely arrival there, my friend, I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey waters. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but... I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. What do you need? Ask away. Essentially, they're trained to fight. Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Thankfully, no. You only start receiving Lyrium once you've taken your vows. 
You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. My family, well, pass a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run. Hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Drydens are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. I ask for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honour. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honour. I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it, at least? A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey ward? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor, though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform, but my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Enchantment!
Why, you little... Me? Harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Ha! Yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but... It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. 
Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. Now, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now, can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? You are? Then you, you, you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Ten Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days, no guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend.
Okay, um, sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? We'll be all right. Very well. What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. You know, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers just keep growing each night. Still no sign of them coming back from the car. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Well now, that's just great. As if we weren't nervous enough as it was. Now we've got magic too. More than you realize, even. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I hope you're right. I really do. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. They've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. I said no, and I meant it! Be gone, stranger! That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself! My action here says you won't. Just you try it, looter! Be gone, I said! Don't you try to come in here! Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. You just come barging into my home. I've no money and nothing of value to take, as you can plainly see. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. 
I don't have much to live for as it is. Can't say that's much of your business. I'll probably be dead when the monsters come here tonight regardless. If you think you can intimidate me more than them, then you're free to try. My girl, Valena. is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village, or anyone! I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right, then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kakari Wars. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. Yes, what can I do for you? Very well. It will be done. As you say. Of course. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, 
until recently in direct service of Al Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. We have sufficient armour and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. No word ah, it's sort of like coming home home again, but with more undead. It is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but dead. Say As you say. These are terrible times. Just terrible. It will be done. Let us pray. Wow. Blessed Must art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. They're, they're God. Blessed God. art thou. Daughter, sacrificed. You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? It is the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly and children will stay here during the battle, while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Ban Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. 
Sephath believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. I guess I can do that. The Maker will the judge us by again. how we believe our is doomed. Faith. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The Maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, nevertheless. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. According to the legend, the followers of Andraste brought her ashes back to Ferelden to hide them from the Imperium. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. We were never certain. He thirsted for water, and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed, and that we needed the power of Andraste herself, or he would surely perish. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there, and were transformed into these... things. The thought chills my blood. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. As you wish. Ask me whatever you wish. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all.
know that we fight for the Maker and our hour.
arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan, thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? Who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He 
He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Logans hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. For Connor's sake, I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan! Please! The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker! Bless you, Tigan. <gasps> Bless you! I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Very well. I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child. <laughs> There's someone out there. Who is it? 
By all that's holy, you! I can't believe it! Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again, of all people. What they do to all traitors and would-be assassins. I wouldn't be surprised if they sent you to finish me off. You might change your mind once you hear. I poisoned the Arl. For all I know, he's dead already. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. I don't know. I dabbled because it seemed the only way Lily and I could escape. The only way I could avoid being made tranquil. I swear, if I knew what would happen, I'd never have started down this path. I'd never have listened to Logan. Oh, thanks. That makes me feel so much better. At least let me explain what I was doing here. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. And I betrayed you. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. You're letting me out? And what then? 
I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Are you truly suggesting just letting him go? A dangerous blood mage? He survived so far. I just think letting him go might be dangerous. But I guess you know best. Then... then I'll go. I'm sorry things ended this way. I hope I see you again one day, under better circumstances. What do you wish of me? 
It will be done. Allow me. I could do that for you. Your wish? Allow me. Hmm? I could do that for you. I'll do it. On my way.
Off I go. Your wish? It will be done.
Yes? done.
Greetings. Yes?
As you wish. Very well. Done. Valena, the Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters! I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. What do you wish of me? It will be done. Allow me. I could do that for you. Of course. do that for you. On my way.
It's done. What do you need?
You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Excellent. Let us go now then, and see what awaits us there. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chew for hours. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kennels, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Make us breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Here I am. Here am I. <laughs> I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? I'm not finished playing. You can't make me stop. I think it's trying to spoil my fun, mother. I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now, she'll be pain. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The 
fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. Clearly the child is an abomination. There is... only one way to stop it. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans. Do you not realize what you've done, Isold? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but... He's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy. Demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew. But... He is also possessed by a demon. Death would be... merciful. No! What... what about the mage? He could know something of this demon. If he still lives, we could speak to him. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Is he dead? Can we do nothing else? Killing the child is the quickest course, but to say there is nothing else possible would be a lie. We can confront the demon in the Fade, though not easily. What do you mean? The demon is within Connor, is it not? No, it lies in the Fade and controls the boy from there. We can follow that connection, however, and do battle with its true form. So you can enter the Fade and kill the demon without hurting my boy? Possible to? Yes. Able to? Perhaps not. Entering the Fade requires Lyrium as well as numerous mages to perform the ritual. Neither of which we have. I understand. Can we do nothing else? You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Then there's not much more to say. Something else will need to be done. Whatever you do, do it quickly. There's not much time before Connor does something else.
I will bring the castle and... My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. Please, don't. It isn't his fault. He just tried to help his father. Why must he pay with his life? Do not make this any harder than it is, Isolde. She has made her decision. Who says she gets to decide? I'm Connor's mother. I'm the Arlesa. This is what must be done. No! No! I won't let you do this! It isn't right! It isn't right! It isn't right! Please don't do this! There must be another way! We must battle the demon in the Fade, or destroy its host. There is no other option. Whatever you do, do it quickly. There's not much time before Connor does something else. Let's go. Alistair here.
So be it. hurt my son. He is not responsible. I wish I could... But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman. So you're a... I... Connor had magic then. I would. No. What? Gone? What do you mean, gone? Neither of which we have. I understand. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do that. But, but what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Go to the tower quickly then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster.
do you wish of me? My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. You're welcome here, friend. What can I do for you? You're welcome to whatever I have, obviously. I'm at your service. Yes, 